finally on that, uh, we noticed an article in The Spectator by Stephen Daisley this week. It says, unionists must stop playing by separatist rules. And he's, he, he's largely correct here in a lot of what he says. And we particularly like this bit. He goes, there are any number of union-minded philanthropists putting their coin into ideas and policy. Well, uh, that's a new one to me. I didn't know there was any union-minded philanthropists putting any money into ideas and policy, but let's take his word for it. But so little of it ever gets out of London. Well, instead of investing in London's 79th centre-right think tank, how about investing in Glasgow's first pro-union think tank? Well, we liked that sentiment, and we certainly were and are Glasgow's first pro-union think tank, although I don't think he's referring to us. I think he's trying to ignore us and, and uh, uh, hope for something else to come along. But if you are a union-minded philanthropist throwing uh, your coin into ideas and policy, then please do consider giving to a force for good because we are producing this kind of documentation that I've just been reading out to you that you won't find anywhere else. And you struggle to find even academics who understand what we've just said. You, you certainly struggle to find politicians who, uh, who understand the nature of the union relationship to the depths that we understand it. So we are the people that you need to be helping if you are what, he, what he's calling a union-minded philanthropist. And for those of us who are just normal folk who would like to give maybe a pound or two a week, please do go to our union supporters page and we'll put the link up there. And for as little as £1.15 a week, which works out at £5 a month, you can support our work here.